<laughs> Don't try to hide now. Good morning. Say good morning. Good morning, good morning. No, say good morning to the camera, sir. Good morning. Don't be camera shy like no man. Yeah, she definitely. What we about to go do? Some coffee. Coffee time. Coffee. Pink hair, don't care. Uh, no. Um, so... What do we have going on today? I need some lotion because my hands are dry. But I wanted to go and do an event this morning. That's what I had planned to go to a market and sell some things. But it is raining outside, so we can't do that. So we are going to stay here and get some work done. And today I'm going to be working on some new personal nail sets for the new collection. I'm going to try and stop by some of the fabric stores to go look at some fabric for some of the new collections that we have coming up. So I think I said it before, the first collection is going to be a butterfly release collection. Um, and then after that, we're gonna do the tour of Paris. So I've really been looking up things for that and what I plan on doing. I wanted to be able to export things from Paris to be able to retail, but that may be a little impossible for the moment because of import taxes and VAT taxes and things like that. It may not be feasible or the smartest choice for me to make right now. <laughs> so that's what we're going to be working on. So my desk looks like it is chaotic, but there is some organization to the mess. Um, but first, before I start, I need to actually go ahead and post these videos to YouTube that I've had in my um, queue for a minute that I need to go ahead and post those so I can start releasing new ones. So let's get that on the road. No right or wrong answers. <laughs> Very good. It makes a little bit, but not too much. All So these are some of my students that are in my class or have been in my class. One of the students, she's on the floor now. She's no longer in my class, but she was a student of mine. Um, and we had a fashion show and we took pictures. And so I thought that picture was just so cute of the three of us. So I decided to make that my main screen on my um, iPad. But we are going to go into YouTube Studio. All right. Um, and we want to go to content. And so these are the two videos that I have in queue that have been here. One I load, uploaded in January and the other one I uploaded in October. So we're going to release the October one first and then we'll release the January one afterwards. But I want to say that these got recorded way before I uploaded them. So let's go to edit. Um, add a description. So first I need to go back to one of my other videos and I need to take the description from that and copy and paste. So we shall do this one. Go to edit. Description. And then we're going to come here. Shift down.
Mm. Let's just take this part. And then we are going to copy, go back to the other one where it says edit. And then we'll paste that there. Then we'll come back. We need to cancel, we need to save. Then go back out, go to this one, go to edit, add a description, and we'll paste that here as well. Go back out, hit save. Okay, it is nine o'clock at night. <clears throat> And I have gotten a lot of things done today. Today was my first day back running my business for a full day. Um, over the past week, I've been doing little things here and there. But today was the first full entire day. And I did get a lot of things done. Um, I got a total of three videos that are scheduled to be released on YouTube. And then I have two more videos that I actually need to edit. And really one of the videos is not much editing. It's just I need to cut out some scenes and then upload that to YouTube. Um, and then the other video, um, which would be today's video, the video I'm making now, I just gotta edit that and then I'm gonna put that up there. So that'll get me partially through April's month of YouTube videos. And later on tonight, I am going to work on um, content for my social media, Facebook, Instagram, and stuff like that. But I'm going to do that while I'm on the couch watching Crazy Anatomy. Um, I did get some press-on nails set, sets made for the Butterfly Release Collection that I'm doing pretty soon. And I'm probably going to look into ordering some more things for that collection. I want to try and find somewhere where I can get fabric um, at a better price. So I do want to do that. I did get a chance to reach out to people um, that reached out to me on social media and uh, through emails. Some of the messages that I got, I didn't really understand. Um, I had someone reach out to me and ask me if I was selling, if I was doing classes or selling the recipe. I think it was to my scrub or my bath salt. And I just want to clarify on that. It's not necessarily that I'm selling you the recipe what it is is we are wholesaling them so we make them and then you buy them from us at a wholesale price you can slap your labeling on them and your name and sell it as if you made it yourself um, and take us out of the picture or you can buy it from us with our labeling on it um, and you can resell it into your boutique or your stores, however you want to do that. And then we also do help with marketing and advertisement and things like that. So we still are working on that. Um, someone else asked about the website, why when they went to the website, if it was down. Um, the website is down because I am rebranding and relaunching and I want to redo the entire website. I want to change the color scheme. I want to change all the information that's up there and I am going through through and I'm getting rid of some of the old inventory that we have so I'm gonna put those that on sale some things are gonna be discontinued so I really need to go through everything before I open the website back up and I also want to go through pricing because as you know inflation is real so everything is going up in prices and so we kind of gotta we have to stay afloat and Santa Flo is readdressing our prices, so I do need to go through all of that. Um, then there was another question about if my company was legit. So my company is legit. It is an LLC. Um, and then we do have a DBA, which would be uh, the LLC, the holding company, 
um, has the DBA for Touched by Diversity. Um, and it is public records. If that's something that you're wanting more information about, you can always contact me and I can give you that information. No secret, we are an LLC. Um, I started off as a sole proprietor and then I branched. I started off as a sole proprietor in 20. 2013, 2015, 2013, and then branched off um, into an LLC at in 2018. So the LLC was formed. No, the LLC, um, the name did change for the LLC in 2018 when we started that, and it has been the same name. However, it started off as a salon and then branched out into several different other businesses that the holding company, which is the LLC, owns those different DBAs. So are we a legitimate company? Yes, we are. We are registered in the state of North Carolina as our physical address. That is our um that is the information that I can give you. And if you need more than that, you can always let me know and I can reach out and give that to you. Um, the best way to contact me right now, someone asks, um, is usually through Messenger. Um, and from there, if I feel like it's something that we need to talk about in person, then I'll give you my phone number for you to be able to reach out that way as well. But most definitely, um, you can reach out to me through email or social media. But until next time, bye.